I will introduce one uh, fiber laser machine. This is one new fiber laser cutting machine. This is 3 kilowatts and uh, with auto focus. Then I will introduce how to use it and uh, how to operate step by step. Uh, here uh, we can call it a remote controller. Uh, that is to say, when you control the machine, you can use it uh, to operate very convenient. Uh, but when you uh, use it, remember there should be one Wi-Fi there. A uh, later I will introduce to you. Here we can see one, two, three, four, five. There are five buttons here. Now let me introduce to you. This button is for the machine power on, machine power on, and uh, this button for the laser power uh, supply power on, and this is for the power off. Power off, it means for the machine and uh, laser power supply together to power off. This is an emergency stop. When you have something happened quickly, just push it. The machine will stop there. And here, computer power. Open it, then computer will be uh, open itself. There is one thing I need to explain a little more. We must uh, uh, operate the machine according to the order. We power on the machine first and uh, after some minutes then we power on the laser power supply. Because the laser power supply, it must be the temperature is according to the 23 degree. You can check the temperature on the water chiller in the back. Later I will show you. This is the laser cutting head. Now let me show you the, how it look like. It is 3 kilowatts with auto focus. When we open the cover, it will uh, like this. Now let me show you how it works. Now first here we show you. This is the uh, one meter here. This meter shows the auto focus degree. Now we can see it is in the zero. In the zero. And here to to switch here. We need to switch here and uh, to change the protect mirror. Then we can see. You can see the protect mirror here. When we change it, then we put back. And then we switch off. We switch off. This is the cabinet inside. In the cabinet inside, we can see we use different cable for different color, and uh, we all the our cables we have the English labels here, English writings, all his English writings. That is what we did. So that means when you receive the machine, it will be very easy for you to change the cable or to find where is the problem. Here, this driver is for the auto focus. This is for the autofocus. And uh, here, these drivers, this is we use the Fuji 1300 kilowatts. 1300 kilowatts uh, drivers from Japan. And here is a computer. It's very important. As I introduced to you, here is the Wi Fi here. This is for the remote controller. You must uh, control it. Uh, Input this to the computer, then this remote can work. Now we put it back. And here, there is also one uh, cable here. This is the internet cable. This internet cable is for the for the uh, this one laser power supply. When there is some alarm, then it will transport the signals to the computer. Then we can find where is the problem. This is the water chiller. Just now, when I introduced the buttons, I told you. And when you power, you first you should power on the machine first. Then after several minutes, then you power on the laser power supply. Because this is the water chiller, we must make sure the temperature is in the correct position. In what is the correct position? Now we can see. We can see. We make sure this is 
the set degree, 23 degree, 23, set degree. This is what it is now, what, uh, what is the uh, temperature now. When it is higher than 23, then the water chiller will be as a uh, air conditioner, it temperature will be down. If the temperature is lower than 23, it will be hot, then it, it will be heating the laser power supply. Here I want to introduce the battery. You can see here, this is the plug for our power plug. And here is for the plugs for different use. Now we can see here, there are six totally, six totally. The first four, the first four are mainly for the water chiller. You can see here, inlet. Inlet, it means it will connect to the outlet of the water chiller. Outlet will connect to the inlet in the uh, water chiller. And here are the same, because they are different sides. So you will never connect wrong. But uh, just remember, here inlet, uh, water chiller outlet. Here water uh, outlet, then on uh, the water chiller inlet. These two plug is one is for the air, one is for the oxygen. When you use the uh, air, you just connect to here. But if you want to use the oxygen or other uh, pure air, you just use this one. Use this one. This is the for the air points. When there is smoke. Just now, I just introduced how to connect uh, to the machine for the water chiller. Now, here, you can see here, this is inlet. Inlet, remember, it will connect to the outlet in the machine. Outlet will connect to the inlet machine. Okay? And the same for these two. This side, it will be very simple. We just uh, remember here, there is one switch, general switch, for the power supply. And here, for another air point to connect the air. We design my box here, and this box, we open it. You can see here, this is the big one, this is for the fiber laser source. Here, I want to introduce you, eventually, this one. This one is for the oxygen filter. That means uh, how many, uh, if you want to use the oxygen, here. If you want to use the oxygen, and uh, uh, you, but if you want to cut uh, different uh, thickness steel, then here, it needs to set, set by this equipment. And uh, how to set it? Uh, usually, no need to set here. We set from the controller, and uh, I will introduce you how to set. In the controller. Now look, we look here. Uh, we uh, introduce several buttons here. Now power, power. That is for the fiber laser source power. When we press here, it means the controller will control the fiber laser source. This is the shutter. Shutter. It means uh, just uh, when the machine has a red dot there. Shutter. It means uh, if we want to cut. For example, there is red dot here. There is red dot here. If uh, this red dot is for only for the position, so uh, if with this red dot, the machine will cannot uh, cut. We need to make it uh, disappear. Press the shutter, then no red dot, then it can cut. No. Second is air. If we use the air, we need to check there is air or not. We press it. If we use the oxygen, then we press oxygen to check there is oxygen or not. Of course, when you power on the machine, make sure the machine must be home first. Next step is how we input, how we load the files into the controller. Files. You can see here, there is input DXF or DWG file. Because when we design, we use the CAD or when we use the SOLIDWORKS. We must save it in the DXF files. Then we find it. Now it's where it is. For example, for example, this one. 
Okay. See? For example, this is a design we want to cut. This is a design we want to cut. Okay, next step is, you can see here, uh, we have two parts. One is for the mark and the second for the cutting. Look, the samples here. This is sword and for this one, this sword. You can see there is characters we need to mark. And uh, this one, we need to cut. How to do? First, we choose the characters. We will choose this one and find the different color. For example, if we choose this color, the mark, okay? Then we choose the layer. Layer. You can see, we press the mark. Then here is the mark parameters. Mark parameters. If the parameters is OK, then we press the OK here. Press OK. Then the machine will mark at this, that parameters for this. Second, we choose the, the rest part for the cut. For example, this one. We choose the blue one. Okay, we choose the blue one. Also, the layer. Layer, okay. This is also the parameters. This is also the parameters. If this parameter okay, then we can press the okay directly. But, but if this uh, parameters are not okay, you need to set. Especially when we want to use the oxygen, for example. Here, we cut gas. We have air or oxygen. If we use the air, no problem. Uh, no need to set anything. But if we want to uh, use the oxygen, we need to set the how much oxygen uh, output capability. Okay, here, this is for the, for example, cut pressure. We usually cut, uh, we usually set the 0 0.8 for the 10 millimeters. This sword is for 10 millimeters. Our salesperson will give you one parameter uh, paper here. This is set according to our experience, according to our experience. But you need to set according to your experience. This one only for your reference. Okay, now, uh, for example, if you cut the 10 millimeters, it's okay. And you can seal this parameter for you. And when you uh, use next time, for example, Open. This is the parameters what we see uh, in the past. Now, now if we want to cut 10 millimeters, for example, this one, then we just uh, put, press it. Then it will be use that parameters. If you use the five millimeters, you just choose the five millimeters what you set or what you see in the past. Just use it. It's also one 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 problem. Because when you cut uh, one product, very complex design. For example, this sword. We want to cut this, mark this, and also one very small axe inside. So sometimes, if we set the 50 uh, meters per minute, maybe they cut this, no problem. The machine can cut very fast. But when we cut this small egg, it machine cannot run so fast. So. If it cannot run so fast, the power will not uh, be out so, uh, so much or not so small. Then we need to set here. We choose enable speed power. Enable speed. Then the machine cut, they will use this setting. We edit. Here, this is the power. This is the power. Uh, this is the speed. This is the speed. This is the... Uh, power this is the power so you can see when the speed higher uh, the power also higher because when you machine run very fast if the power is not so fast no, not uh, increase so high then it will not cut uh, very well you can see you can see here maybe cut here the cutting effect not good but here cutting effect very good so if you want to cut this one also well, you need to also set here, make it uh, uh, make the speed and uh, power difference. This need you to set. You can see here, we press the add, then we can add a different speed here. You can you can you can change it, you can change it, or you can delete it. 
there is also one thing very important. This is a lead. Lead. For example, if we want to cut this is a circle, this is a sword, this is a sword. Okay? Uh, when we press the lead, it means where the laser cut starts from. You can see here. Now the lead it will cutting inside the circle. Inside the circle. If you want to outside, then press here. Fill. Then it will be outside. So inside, then choose again. If you want to cut uh, uh, some product, for example, this square. You want to cut this, this square. You just uh, uh, design one, but you want to cut more. How to do it? Then you first uh, choose it. Choose it. Then you press the array, array. Then you can see here we have rules and the columns. You can set how many. Now we set two, two. Then press OK. Then it will be two rules, two columns. Okay. Joint. It means when you cut uh, uh, several small parts, if especially for the circle, you don't need to cut them down. Just uh, connect a little. Use a M joint. Now, if we want to cut these squares too many, too many, if we, uh, usually it will cut one square by one square by one square by one square, this speed will be very slow. We can also use the fly cut, fly cut. Now, uh, we choose first, then we need to scan, scan, then, okay. We use the we, we line scan. We choose the line scan. Yes, it will be like this. It then it will be cut one line by one line by one line. It will be fly cut. Next, uh, we uh, after we finish the, the controller uh, finish the introduction. Now let me introduce the remote. Remote here. You can see the green. It means if we press here, it will start cutting. If there is something happens, then you press the red one. It is a pause. If everything is okay, then continue. Then you press the blue one. The machine will continue cutting. And uh, here, the we can see here, uh, set zero. For example, if you want to cut the same products, you already start from here. Then when you set here, then you set the set zero. You press it. Then the machine will remember this coordinate. So next time, when you finish this cut, then you put another sheet here. Next time, you press the go zero. The machine will come here again. So it will be very fast cutting and very convenient to use. For the frame, it means when you want to cut something, when you press it, the machine will not cut first. It will uh, run uh, the frame first. So to check, your cutting is out of the frame or not.